Yo, what's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I just want to say thank you so freaking much for subscribing and just leaving a like on my past video. My past video did absolutely amazing. It's actually ranked my number one video across all of my channel, which is absolutely insane. I want to show you how to do this super cool blotter media technique effect tutorial uh, using Final Cut Pro 10. Um, but by the way, this video is sponsored by Pixel Film Studios. So huge thanks to Pixel Film Studios for allowing me to show you this very, very cool plugin that you guys can use in Final Cut Pro 10. It's not for free, unfortunately, but I will only show you guys plugins uh, that I personally find useful and worth it. So if this is a worth, uh, uh, like a worthy plugin, so this is the website I'm going to post it down in the description of this video and it's called the Final Cut Pro 10 Brush Glow Plugin. It's $29.95 but this is going to be the best $30 that you will ever spend on a plugin. If you really want to do this, it saves you so, so much time. On my previous videos I showed you how to do it with Photoshop and it's relatively easy but it might take a lot longer okay so this you can just do it all in Final Cut Pro 10 without having to use Photoshop or having to leave the application so once you open up Final Cut Pro 10 once everything is installed it's really really easy actually so you want to go into the titles and generators uh, sidebar so click on here and you want to go into it's gonna look like this just go into the generators just click on the arrow uh, or the triangle and go into this one here where it says pixel film studios the brush glow plugin if you don't see this, it means you didn't install it correctly or you might want to reinstall the plugin. And you can do the reinstall just by running the installation again. Okay, you don't have to dig into the application to reinstall it. So once you install, you're gonna have five different plugins or different types of um, effects, I guess. You're gonna have the 4K, 5K, 720, 1080, and then the phone one here and um, they're all well for the 4k it's obviously 4k resolution it's very cpu and ram intensive so if you have a beefy computer you can probably run these two just fine click and drag one of these on top of your timeline and you want to trim this down to fit your video here by the way the video i'm using for this demonstration uh for this educational purposes only uh tutorial is going to be denzel curry ricky um, absolutely amazing music video if you haven't seen it link in the description uh, so what you want to do is obviously you want to import the plugin right above your effect here or your music video and over here in the parameters if you go into the inspector window you go into the parameters you're gonna have a bunch of controls here and if you scroll down so we have draw mode you want to do frame by frame to create that animation because that's pretty much stop motion animation in a sense okay and you can do add to subsequent frames but that's a little different you can read the the readme i'm not going to get into that i'm just going to go to frame by frame uh so what you want to do and something that a lot of people don't do is saving their canvas or saving their actual keyframes because if you quit final cut Pro 10 and you open it up again all your work is going to be gone okay so what you want to do is you want to click save canvas to save all of your keyframes to save all of your work so here over here in the clear canvas, this is uh, the button to clear whatever you've done. So if I click and drag, you're gonna see some effects already applying. And if you wanna clear this current frame, which is frame two, just, or this one over here, clear canvas will erase everything. And then the clear current frame will erase everything within that current frame. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Um, over here, the brush size, this allows you to control the brush size. You can see if I go back and I decrease this, how we are decreasing the the uh, brush size. I would also suggest changing the view to better performance and then changing it back to better uh, or to uh, better quality once you're finished. Um, you can change all of these options here. Here we have glow controls. This is where you can change the color. So if I click and I drag, you can change the color. Some also that you've already done. Okay, and let's say I messed up. All you gotta do is hold command and click and this will erase everything that you've done. Now, if you have an issue erasing and it doesn't work, like pressing command and clicking and dragging to erase the scribble. You will have to reinstall the plugin, unfortunately. Maybe that's just on my end, um, but for some reason it's not working sometimes. So hopefully it's just on my part and not for you. So to do this animation, all you're doing is clicking and dragging. Sometimes it's a bit weird here and I'm gonna change the eraser size a bit bigger. So I'm gonna click and drag out here 
and I'm gonna press the right arrow key to go to the next frame and I'm just gonna slowly go down his kind of like his body so I'm gonna click and drag outwards like so so now if I go back you're gonna see how it looks like and I'm gonna go over here like so and if I just go back like pressing the left and right arrow keys you can see how that's being animated and you're just going down like so um, but if I go back now and I push play this is what we got so far and it looks super cool so now I'm gonna go back up here so I'm just gonna do the opposite I'm gonna click and drag on the opposite and making it a little bit smaller there we go so now if I go back and I push play this is what it looks like and it looks super cool so like I said you can do a whole bunch of stuff maybe you don't like the color all you gotta do is go back and change the brush color to um, your liking so maybe you want to do pr uh, pink now we can do that and you have by the way keyframes here so you have you can really customize this to your liking and make it look a lot a lot better um, but like I said what you want to do you want to go into the um, well first you want to go into the titles and generators pixel film studios click and drag this over here and then you're gonna go on to the this button over here and you want to make sure that the draw mode is set to frame by frame and then the brush size adjusted to how you want and then the brush color and that's honestly all you really have to focus on and the rest is just you know drawing on the canvas and moving the left and right arrow keys that's it guys that's as simple as it gets i didn't want to get crazy with this so if you guys found this video helpful please leave a like guys comment down below any uh if you guys have any other video ideas subscribe turn on the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on a video like this and i will catch you guys on my next video peace